Hello and welcome to the AVX product video series. In this video, you will learn about the AVX web UI or web user interface in the AVX dashboard. The AVX is a RAISE NFV or Network Functions Virtualization Platform. The AVX offers a virtualized platform purpose-built to run multiple networking and security virtual appliance VA instances or virtual network functions VNFs with guaranteed performance. There currently are three different AVX models. The 3600 is a 1U rack mount and can run up to eight VAs. The 7600 is a 2U rep mount and can run up to 16 VAs. The 10650 is a 2U rep mount and can run up to 32 VAs. Let's now log in to the AVX web UI. The web UI provides the user with a visual and friendly way for configuring and managing the appliance. The web UI framework consists of three parts. There's a top bar here. On the left is a navigation bar. And in the center is the work pane. First, let's spend a little time going over the top bar, starting from our left. There is a search button here that allows you to search a configuration menu, submenu for a keyword and switches to the appropriate menu. Moving to the right, there's a web console button. If we click on that, a new tab is open to our AVX web console. Next to that is an HTML help button. If we click on this, the AVX user guide is opened in a new tab. Next to that is a language button, which allows us to switch from English to Chinese. Next to that is a notifications button. Currently there are no notifications. Next to that is a user manual button that allows us to download the application guide or the command line interface handbook or a WESTful API document, user guide, or reference manual. Next to that is a Save Configurations button that allows to save the current configurations. And last but not least is a button that allows us to log out of the account. Let's now move to our far left and talk about the navigation bar. The navigation bar includes the main menus of the modules and features on the system and is divided into the following menu groups. There's a dashboard group. There's a topology group. There's a VA management group. And there's a platform group. The work pane in the middle displays the configuration pages where you complete the configuration or management task. Let's view the work pane for the dashboard section, which will provide you with an overall summary of what is running on the AVX. There are three tabs here. System statistics, system information, service topology. On this system statistics page, in the upper left hand side, there is a network throughput graph to show you the amount of network traffic in megabits per second traversing in and out of the AVX. In the middle is a CPU usage graph to show you the CPU utilization by all the uh, VAs. And on the far right, is a memory usage graph showing you the amount of memory utilized by all the VAs. Below here in the middle are four little graphs. On the left is a CPU threads graph. If you mouse over it, you can see how many CPU threads are used by that particular VA. For instance, VXAG1 
you're using C two CPU threads and so forth. In this memory section, we can see that VXAG1 is using four gig gigabytes of memory. And to our right is a traffic interface virtual functions graph. And to the right of that is an SSL card virtual functions graph. In both of these, we can also see how many virtual functions are consumed by each VA. In the area right below, you can see a list of the deployed VA instances. There's a total of four VA instances on this AVX. For each VA instance, there is also detailed information such as the VA name, IP address, product name, product category, VA size, image, vendor, status, and boot time. The last column, action, is where you can start, stop, delete, and go to a VNC console for that VA. Let's now click on the System Information tab. On this page, you can see the list of deployed VA instances again. And if you mouse over each VA box, a pop-up will show more details for that VA. Moving down to our left is a detailed list of the platform resources. And to the right is a list of the system information for this ABX. Let's click on the Service Topology tab. Service Topology is a set of deployed VA instances that form the service architecture and defines the data flows among the connected nodes. In this example, data flows from the VXAG through the VAPV New service topologies can be easily added by clicking on this button. That concludes our video for the AVX Web UI and Dashboard Overview. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our next video on the AVX product.